Hey, what's up, guys? <coughs> and welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be going over the raw review. Um, I'm not going to be doing talking about Raw or SmackDown because it's just a go home Raw and SmackDown, so not really much happened. Uh, there was an Intercontinental rematch. Uh, Dean Ambrose was able to retain his title. And, uh. Chris Jericho defended his United States Championship and retained by disqualification when Kevin Owens interfered. Um, that was for the big things. Anyways, so we're just gonna go straight into the Royal Rumble predictions just because that's coming up in two days and nothing else really happened on Raw or SmackDown. So let's get into it. Um, first off, we have Sasha Banks versus Nia Jax on the Nia Jax on the pre show, and I'm picking Nia Jax. She's just been on win win win. Um, and Sasha Banks was able to counter back on Raw, so I think that Nia Jax is just going to come back with a fury. Uh, Shizaro taking on Yowz and Anderson for the tag champions. Uh, there's going to be two referees, and I think because of that reason that Shizaro are going to keep the titles, at least for now, but I think they'll drop them to Gals and Anderson at Mania. Uh, Lynch, Bella, Naomi taking on Bliss, James, and Natalia. I think just because Mickey James is coming back, obviously, Team Heel, aka Alexa Bliss, Mickey James, and Natalia will be able to pick up the win. Richard Swan taking on Neville for the Cruiserweight Championship. I think Neville is going to win. He's been on a winning streak, and I feel as if that the cruiserweight will be the cruiserweight division will be so much more popular with Neville as a champion just because everybody loves him. Charlotte will take on Bailey for the women's championship. I don't think Bailey is going to get the win here. I think it's going to be a little while longer till Bailey picks up the win. So I, I'm predicting Charlotte to retain. Um, that's it for everything besides the championship matches and the Royal Rumble. If anything gets announced past this day. Um, the matches that aren't on here is the SmackDown Tag Champs. Uh, the Women's Champ is in a match, so I'm not going to say that. US and Intercontinental aren't, aren't there. Uh, I know they're in the Rumble, but usually they'll still have them come out. But I think because Chris Jericho is going to be in the Shark Cage that they just didn't want to do one, the inter, just the Intercontinental. And then I think those are the only three titles not on the line. Besides the women's championship, which I'm not really counting because she's got a match. Um, okay. Yeah. Alright, so. I'm going to start off with Raw, and that's going to be Kevin Owens taking on Roman Reigns. Uh, I'll kind of be talking about these both at the same time. Um, I don't think Roman and Cena are going to be walking out as champ. And because of this, it was basically a toss-up of whether I thought it was going to be Roman or Cena. And based on what's happening, I feel as if Roman is, like... I feel like Cena is going to get the win here. I mean, this is what everybody's been saying. Cena will win here, drop it at Chamber, and then it'll be a match for Flair's record at WrestleMania. Um, and I have to agree with this. I think Cena's going to pick up the win here. And because of this, I think Roman's not going to. Uh, again, same thing with... Um, what's it called? Uh, oh, the Shisaro match. Just because there's that whole thing about... Oh, you get involved, so we're putting you in a shark cage. I feel like... Because that's happening, that means Kevin Owens is going to retain. Um, it happened at NXT TakeOver when it was TM61 taking on Authors of Pain for the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. Uh, 
it just, I mean, I, I feel like that's happening. For the Royal Rumble, because of what I said for Cena and Styles, I think that a Raw Superstar is going to win it. And because of this, I feel that the winner will be, if he re does return, Finn Balor. However, if Balor does not return, then the winner will either be, or the winner will be, um, I really don't know. I mean, it's not going to be Rusev, it's not going to be Cass, it's not going to be Sane, it's not going to be Slow. Big Slow. It's not going to be Shizaro. Um It's not going to be Strowman. It's not going to be Jericho. I don't think it's going to be the end of the New Day. So I feel like it's it could be Goldberg or Jericho if they're going to do that. The heel turn thing. Or the Chris Jericho turn face. And then leave to do... Um, his band, I forgot what it's called, uh, Fozzie. So, I mean, yeah, if Finn returns, it's gonna be Finn, but if not, it's gonna be Goldberg or, um, Jericho. And also, Rumble prediction, I think... Like, usually there's a return and an NXT bring up. Usually, most of the time. But, right, there's one or the other or both. So, I think that Ty Dillinger will be number 10. Or, I feel Samoa Joe will be either number 10 or 20. Sometimes they bring him up as 10. I mean, the past few times they've been bringing him up as 20. So, that's what I think it's going to be. And Finn has a return. If Finn doesn't return, it might be, um, yeah, because Rollins doesn't have a scheduled match, so I feel like it's not going to be Triple H, but, um, either Finn or, shoot, who's, there? I know there's some guy out right now, besides Finn, I mean, maybe Eric Rowan, oh yeah, that's right, maybe, yeah, maybe Rowan, I forgot he was out, but. I don't think he's healthy yet. I mean, he got like a knee injury or something, so that'll take a little while. But yeah, Rowan or Balor. Uh, Kenny and Mikey are already off SmackDown roster. Oh wait, no, there's Mikey. Kenny doesn't have a picture. I don't even know why they're still on there. Anyways, that'll do it for today, guys. If you did, if you did enjoy, don't forget to drop a like and a subscribe. Turn on the notifications and receive one every time I upload a video. And that'll do it. Peace out. Don't forget to keep on rocking. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.